made the joke at halftime you were kind of ruining the game. Was that your, your goal today? Uh, uh, no, no, it wasn't my goal. It was just go out there and work technique um, on, the, on the guys that they had out there in the offensive line position. I was just mainly just trying to work my technique because I knew sooner or later Kiffin was going to throw in uh, the chips and stuff like that, sitting running back, running back uh, over to help out with the uh, offensive tackle. But I just wanted to come out there and just show my verse, trying to – you know, keep keep my speed because you know I need to pick up a little weight over to the spring. So I'm just trying to see if he's still there, but it worked out good. For me. The spring goal was to obviously be a more all-around player. How do you feel you you've accomplished that? Well, yeah, that was my uh, my goal just to just to prove to myself or uh, you know anybody else that you know I can play all downs and you know because I know you know the fans was used to seeing me come in on third down, so I just owe it to them uh, for coming out today and just seeing me out there every every down, just seeing what I can do. Can you talk about Jeremy Pruitt and just sort of maybe the changes that you can see as a player? Uh, man, he's, he's, he's an awesome coach. You know, um, he was here when I was getting recruited in 2013, but he had left soon as I had signed. But, uh, I mean, for us, the way he teaches the defense, is uh, it's, like a, it's like he commands and demands, you know, effort and relentless and physical toughness out of all of us. And uh, it just made us more comfortable being with him because he used to be here before. And when, like, you know, he's a stranger to the program, you know, he was here a couple years back. So uh, we were just out there just playing hard for him because he had made it simple for everybody to go out there to make plays. What was it like out there on defense when I mean, it's scoreless going into the fourth quarter? Uh, it's just, it treated just like practice. Uh, we compete like that every day in practice. You know, we know those guys are our teammates, so we're trying to compete, like, you know, not trying to hurt them at the same time, giving 100% effort, 100% or running to the ball, just, you know, just how the wide receivers and DBs compete on, on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're just going out there just to show our team spirit, our team chemistry, but also our competitive nature. Is it tough to sometimes almost, like, pull off a little bit, too, with that one time, like, probably could have crushed David Cornwell and you had to kind of, like, stop? Yeah, yeah. I find myself doing it a lot, even at practice, you know, it really just teaches us. You know, once, one time in the game, I get the big. Um, when I, I had a free shot on a Mississippi State quarterback, but I knew if I would have hit him, it would have been rough in the past. So it just teaches us, you know, to be disciplined in the in the zone. When you be in that zone, like you about to get, about to hit it, you like, okay, you gotta be just be disciplined on certain plays like that. But yeah, I could agree. I could. Agree. <laughs> Tim, how much weight have you put on, and what part of your game do you think you've improved the most since the national championship game? Uh. Right now, I'm in, I get, um, I'm in 258 right now. So over the spring, I really gained like 10 pounds because during the, uh, the season, I was like 245, close to 250 last year. But um, the most thing I worked on the most this year was uh, taking on blockers, uh, holding up my gap, uh, steering punch, um, just playing a run for real, just, uh, just, just being more attentive and more uh, focused when, uh, when I hear run plays or anything about the run. Because uh, you know this is new to me, but I'm going to take on a challenge. How has Coach Tosh kind of helped you evolve into a more elite player? Oh, uh, because uh, Coach Tosh, man, he 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 he, he, he speaks directly to my soul. I can speak for myself, but I know to my outside linebacker group, me, Ryan Anderson, and Sean Evans, all the young guys in that uh, group as well. I mean, he like he he's us. He's basically the life and soul of our all whole room. You know, he makes sure that like, we do everything like. 100% effort. If we don't do it 100%, he's making us do it, do it, do it again. And we have extra film with him every day. So we're really working. Going against a guy like Kurt.